Guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we are gonna be taking Logan through a pretty decent speed workout. Now again, there are tons of speed elements of the golf swing, but in today's episode, we're gonna see how fast we can get, and let's check it out. So what we have here is the Aero Swing. I'm not endorsed by these guys whatsoever, but I do love the product because they offer two products. They offer a whippy, um, more of a tempo aspected golf club. And the second one is their speed stick. So there's obviously multiple pineapples here. And part of the reason why I like it is because most golfers struggle with gaining speed post impact. A lot of golfers can gain a lot of speed hitting into the ball because they're trying to specifically hit an implement. But part of the reason why I like this over a speed stick is because it actually trains through the impact zone and through the hitting zone and it provides some resistance. So these pineapples obviously slide on and off. You can add up to four and Depending on how much speed training you're doing, this acts as a great tool to actually train pass. So what we're gonna do with Logan is we're gonna get him to hit a couple drivers, get a baseline, we're gonna do a small session with this, and then we're gonna go back to driver and see what happens. So simply just try to get it, just, we're just gonna try to get a baseline. Yeah. And again, try to like, try to go after a few and just see how fast, uh, see how fast we can get. So 158, again, set up a little bit closer. There you go. Better contact, so better, better contact. Yeah, because you're actually hitting up on the ball. So you're actually, yeah. Yeah, so that, that was the best spin rate. Again, 158 ball speed, uh, 240 carry, and then about 2,500 spin, which is really good. Okay. Nice. Good, so we have a good sample size here. Um, 158 again, which is great, so very consistent. So one of the things that we're gonna do is I want you to practice a couple with just the smaller pineapple, which is probably gonna be a little bit lighter than your driver, maybe like five, 10%, okay? And I want you to, same power elements that we've been talking about, but I want you to feel like you're really, because there's no implement or no ball in the way, really try to let it go, okay? okay? So we're gonna do 10 swings, take about five, 10 seconds in between, and really, really, really put some, put some gas behind it. Okay. Good. Don't worry about footwork. Don't worry about any of that stuff. Okay. Good. So as Logan's doing this, it's important to understand that when it comes to gaining club head speed in the golf swing, what we're gonna be looking for is to push past that neurological barrier. So what speed sticks, the arrow swing, different types of training aids allow you to do is it allows you to swing and swing very fast and push past that neurological governor without hitting anything. So when you go back to the golf ball, it's gonna be really easy to add a little bit of speed. You're not gonna be swinging at 100% obviously like this. However, we're definitely gonna be able to gain a little bit of speed. So that's about five to 6% lower or five ten percent lower than his uh, than his driver. We're going to take a little bit of a break here, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get him to do ten again with a little bit more resistance, which is probably just the equivalent, if not maybe just a touch heavier than your driver. Okay. Okay. So again, really try to feel like you're getting to the front side sooner. Okay. Good. Good. That's five. Good, and try to really feel a lot more of the speed from P2 to basically P6. So basically getting the club through impact, try to, that's where your hand speed wants to, yeah. Okay. Good. Nice, good, and relax. Okay, so when you do a couple swings with your driver without actually hitting a golf ball, because okay. this is gonna feel really, really light and really ugly, yeah. because the first couple strikes that we're gonna have is probably not gonna be very good, but we'll have a baseline of 158 miles an hour ball speed, which is great. So just do a couple really dry swings, um, not focusing on hitting a golf shot, just getting comfortable putting the driver back in your hands. And it's gonna feel really, really, really light, right? Because we had a lot of resistance yeah. here, and that's the same thing with speed sticks. So just get comfortable, that's do about great. five or six swings here. Again, just getting comfortable getting the driver back in your hands. Great. Couple more. I can't explain how much of a difference that <laughs> yeah. feels like. There's about three to five miles an hour increase, like just immediately without even really having to focus on it. I wish I had my PRGR, we could actually get a better representation, but. Like. So do one more. Should I just be trying to smooth this or? Okay, so now let's reset the mat. We're gonna move it a little bit closer that way, good. We're gonna bring the, our Bushnell back in play here. And we're gonna try to get a little bit of a better reading. So same kind of thing, stock driver, except now we got a little bit more gas behind it. 
And the, again, the first couple are not gonna be good because you've basically gained so much speed, like you miss hit that 158, yeah. which is massive. So the second you center punch that, we're probably looking at 65. Staying a little bit closer. There you go. Better? Yeah. 158, a little bit better swing. Again, really don't hold back here. I know the net's in front of you. Put some heat behind it. It's okay, a little miss hit. This is the issue, guys. Like when you guys speed train, this should happen. Like you should be hitting it all over the club face, right? Because when you're pushing club head speed and you're pushing new PRs, you should be breaking past that neurological barrier. The second you have a golf ball in your uh, in your peripherals, you're always gonna be trying to hit good golf shots, which is totally normal for a golf for a golfer. When you're trying to gain speed, if you're hitting it in the center of the face, you're probably not trying hard enough. So, so this, 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 this is good, this is good. I'm just gonna rip at this one. Oh yeah. Again, good. 165. Wow. 165. So there you go. There's another six miles an hour, seven miles an hour worth of club hit, or not club hit speed, worth yeah. of ball speed gained. And we didn't even hit that that good. No. Perfect. All right. Yeah. So let's keep going. This is good news. Off the bottom. That's the okay. Corner. That's all right. You really try to go after it. So again, don't try and feel like you're lifting, like hanging back and trying to lift it up. Like yeah. still feel like you get back to that front side. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm probably leaving the weight back. 100%, still. yep. Which is why your, your, your AOA is essentially like, you're up here. Yeah, that's what I'm missing. Yeah. Closer. Nuked. Nuki. Okay, that was a little bit of a misread, that's all right. That, that was a good shot. That was a good shot. That even sounded better. Yeah. That was destroyed. 162 and hit it, hit it good or no? No, not didn't good. even hit it good. So we're already four miles an hour faster and we've only swung 20 times. Yeah. It's not even really like a full speed session, but it's to neurologically prime you to go faster. So let's do a couple more, maybe one more. Get a good one in there. That was sounded a little bit better too. A little healy. But... Little healy. So 161. So basically our new baseline is just above 160. We've only been swinging for five, 10 minutes, yeah. this is great. So without even doing a full blown speed session, which is kind of what we've tried to do, your 165 ball was 265 carry. The other balls we've been hitting before went from 240 to 250. So we've essentially put on 25 yards worth of carry just with driver alone. Wow. So again, we're not gonna have 25 yards worth of carry immediately, mm -hmm. but pushing that neurological barrier and getting his top end strength or his top end speed all the way at the top is gonna be super valuable because when you go play golf now, you're gonna be somewhere between what you were and what we are now. So we could probably say he's gained at least 10 miles an hour in the last 10 minutes, yeah. <laughs> realistically yeah. speaking, right? So this is why it's important to speed train guys. It's important to push the neurological barrier. It's important to really push yourself. So when you go back to the golf course, your 90% effort or your golf swing is only going to be just that much faster so i hope this gave you guys some insight and i want to ask you the question is what would you do with 10 extra yards